I know people who say, oh, I'm bad ugly, but it's a mindset. We found when the wind farm first went up, the, the towers did seem quite huge and we would hear them a bit. But it was a few weeks to months that we, they kind of shrunk in our minds and now we barely even see them or let alone hear them. Uh, we'd hear traffic on a not very busy road much more than we, than we hear the wind towers. Certainly with modern blade types and techniques of construction, the argument of, of wind turbine noise has been addressed. These modern machines are the quietest machines since the uh, inception of the wind industry. The income from the turbines certainly helps us in, in bad years. And anyway, we use it to help with our weed control programs and things like that. So that's certainly a benefit. We love living here next to the wind farm. We've got three small children. Um, we love being able to talk to them about renewable energy and, and how it's contributing to our environment and also the benefits it brings to the, to the community, all the, the jobs and things that have come from having a wind farm here. They have done an incredible job. Their rehabilitation after construction was terrific. For, for us as a host landowner, it's created a huge number of benefits. Um, we've got much better access on some of the tracks that they've created. Absolutely no problems. I, I never hear them. I mean, here we are now on a windy day and you can't hear them. Yeah, we knew the wind farm would go up when, when we bought and we were, we were fine with that. It did put us in a position of being quite empowered. We got to choose to live near a wind farm. We did a little bit of research, found out that people were quite, living quite contently near wind farms and we found the experience the same. The community's had a tough time with this, with this wind farm coming in. So we get both sides of the equation from aren't they majestic, aren't they glorious, aren't they beautiful, to aren't they bloody awful. My opinion would be that a lot of that has come from a lack of really good consultation and communication at the very beginning stages of the wind farm being planned. I think if people were properly consulted and really had meaningful input into that development process, so many of the problems and the issues that have come up for the community wouldn't have existed at all. It's also been interesting that people have become a lot more accepting of the wind farm now it's up. They've sort of noticed that the impacts aren't necessarily as, as huge as what they expected them to be. One thing we are very proud of here is our ongoing community enhancement program where we uh, sponsor local projects, developments, sustainable projects in partnership with the Snowy Monero Council. Uh, we're, we're looking into probably in excess of $2 million over the lifespan of the project. One of the benefits from the wind farm has been that the wind farm has brought back the local community hall and that's been a really great force to help bring the community together again. We can have meetings there, we've had trivia night there, we've having, we're starting to have movie nights there. It's a medium to bring the community together in a really positive way over some really positive things. It was a really good tight-knit community before and I feel like it's getting even, even more so.